Hey, Todd Father. Yeah, no, no. So I got the giveaway, the Queen Studios Hulk, uh, Green Scar, and I was thinking, you know, maybe you should just let me keep it. Come on, man. We spent that beautiful night together. Do you know how much money you'd have to pay for that kind of experience? Seriously, I really have to give it away? Fine. I have an idea. <laughs> They'll never know. Hey, welcome to the Extreme Channel. My name is Mr. X. Very exciting day on the channel because not only do I have an amazing $2,000 statue that I've wanted for incredibly long, but this statue right here is gonna be in one of your homes. That's right, the Extreme Channel and Spec Fiction is giving away this premium Green Scar Hulk statue from Queen Studios. As you kind of saw in the intro, I actually already own a Green Scar Hulk statue or a King Hulk statue. It's actually this custom one right here. I've owned it for a very long time and when Queen Studios released this, uh, about two, maybe two and a half years ago, they teased this product, I was like, wow. That is absolutely incredible. It may even be better than mine. But I decided to practice hashtag restraint and said, you know what, I'm not gonna buy it at this time because I do really like the one I have. Why spend another $2,000? But the Todd father, the owner of Spec Fiction, who I think is absolutely amazing, said, you know what, we're gonna do another giveaway on the Extreme Channel. And we've done quite a few in the past from Spec Fiction as well as from the Extreme Channel collection and some of the other distributors we have. Yeah, I just ran out of breath there. Because this bitch is heavier than you can imagine. Probably the heaviest quarter scale statue I've ever, I wasn't gonna say seen, but lifted. I've been drinking a lot. Anyway, uh, so I said, yes, absolutely, let's do it. But it's a really, really special giveaway because we're gonna give this away live. And I keep saying we, I'm not talking about my multiple personalities. The Todd father himself is going to be sitting at this table and we are going to give this away. How are we gonna give it away? Stay tuned for the end of the video. I am really, really excited because I get a chance to see this amazing piece. I get a chance to do a review for you guys. I get a chance to hang out with the Todd Father, which we're gonna do some absolutely incredible things. We're gonna document a lot of it, not only for the public, you're gonna get to see at least three more videos with me and the Todd Father, but we're gonna do some stuff for the Extreme Channel members. If you wanna know what that's about, check out the link in the description below or the join button. So with that being said, let's dive in a little bit to Green Scar or King Hulk. So Green Scar in the comics, they decided that, you know what? Hey, Hulk is too powerful. We need to exile him to another island. And there's a couple different omnibus that actually do this story. They briefly touched on it in Thor Ragnarok, but they kind of did their own twist. So he goes to this new, did I say island earlier? Shit, I'm drunk. Planet, planet. He goes to a new planet called Sakaar. And on that planet, he becomes a gladiator. He becomes Gladiator Hulk, which I have owned a statue from Sideshow Collectibles, this quarter scale Gladiator Hulk statue. Where he actually fights and eventually he becomes king. They think he's a god named Green Scar. That's where that comes from. He eventually has a son named Scar and actually I have a statue of his son as well. You can check out this video right here. So it's this whole other Hulk storyline about Bruce Banner. Incredibly powerful. He defeats every single person there is. Maybe not as incredible. See what I did there? Incredible Hulk. Maybe not as incredible as like Maestro, which again, I have a statue on that. Man, I'm just whoring myself out. But I think that's a good thing because we are giving away a $2,000 statue, so I'm allowed to do that. But like I said, I really wanted this one for the longest time, and I'm so glad to see it in person. But it's kind of a, it's kind of a catch-22 because I am going to have to give him away, but I'm very excited about that giveaway. When Todd comes here, like I said, we're going to do a ton of videos for you guys. When I say a ton, I mean like three or four. Shit, I'm drunk. And... You think I'm drunk now? Wait till Todd's here. We're gonna get that skinny little motherfucker so incredibly drunk. But enough background about Green Scar, enough about the upcoming giveaway. Again, stay tuned till the end of the video. I'll tell you more. Let's dive into this Queen Studios quarter scale premium King Hulk on throne statue. So if you're new to the channel, I love throne statues. Here's one more whoring myself out. 
check out this video right here about the best throne statues. And that custom statue I was talking about is actually on that countdown. This would score there as well. Now, is this better than that custom statue? Well, we're just gonna look at him today, but I am gonna do a video comparing that custom statue and this one very soon. So make sure you've not only liked this video, but you've subbed to the channel and hit that bell notification, not only to see that comparison video or that extreme rumble, extrumble, but to see the live chat and giveaway. Let's look at the review of this statue. As always, we're gonna start with concept. So it's a throne statue. Now with throne statues, you always have a number of things going on. Number one, you have them sitting in a throne. Maybe it's a throne custom to them. A lot of times they do stone thrones or thrones built from a rock like you see on this one. What you see around him is not fallen enemies, which is the traditional aspect of throne statues. And again, I'm gonna save the comparisons for later, but you don't see fallen enemies, but you see a ton of weapons. Now this raises a few questions. Are these his weapons? You know, really the Hulk doesn't need weapons, although he did use quite a few as a gladiator. And I think that's what these are about. These are the weapons he used to become King of Sakaar. He was never defeated in the gladiator arena. And you have about 10 different weapons here. And I think that's really cool. Although again, like we said, I don't think the Hulk actually needs weapons. He is sitting in the throne, leaning back. There is a cape of someone he destroyed. We don't know if it's Thor's cape or his cape or what that is. And he's very menacing. I mean, he is not a peaceful king. He is very full of rage. You know, the whole time he's on Sakaar, he is in the Hulk form, not Bruce Banner. And I think they captured that well. There's a number of switch out options we're gonna look at. What you're looking at right now is a very fierce portrait, but you see his gladiator helmet behind him. And in those different portraits you saw, there is a gladiator portrait switch out we can do as well but I really like that. So this encompasses him. He won his way to the top, became the king by defeating every other enemy and very World War Hulk style. That's the omnibus in the comics that this is actually from. I love it. I think they nailed it. I can't believe more custom and licensed companies haven't done this type of statue. So I give the concept a strong four out of five. It is above average. It's not amazing, it's not unique. There's nothing really elaborate about this, but it is very cool. Design. There are definitely some issues, not with the statue. I'll tell you what I mean in a second. First, let's measure this huge motherfucking quarter scale statue. Quarter scale means it is four times smaller than a real life version. The widest part is just over 25 and three quarters, almost 26 inches. For exact dimensions, check out Spec Fiction's website. The deepest part of the base is probably, we're gonna guess, 20 inches or so. Now the throne does lean back a little bit, so that'll add a little bit more. And the tallest part, if you have the helmet displayed, is just under 26 inches. Now I say if you have the helmet displayed because there are some switch out options, but before we look at that, here's the unboxing and assembly. So incredibly big and heavy box, which actually made it a damage claim with UPS. So they notified us it was out for delivery, and then they said, you know what, we're not going to deliver it, it's too damaged. They started taping it up, but this giant shipper box actually had two other boxes inside of it, two art boxes you can see right here. They had the same pictures on each one, pictures of the actual statue, which is kind of neat. And Queen Studios used white foam and black straps. The first big box had two layers. The first layer is right here, a few of the additional pieces. Plus the second layer was the Hulk body itself. And it did damage the foam, so it's gonna be hard to repack. We'll talk about that in a second. And then here is the other box. Before we go any further, 
Big shout out to Sick Mansion Collectibles, because like I said, I've had a few to drink. I usually can assemble statues without direction, unless they have like 100 pieces. But he did an amazing assembly video when he reviewed this a while back, so I used that as a cheat sheet. But let's talk about the Switch out. So, Queen Studios actually made two different versions of this, a regular and a premium. The premium had some additional Switch outs, that's what we're going to look at today. They are all in the portraits. The first is a unhelmeted portrait with him baring his teeth. Very menacing. Also very menacing is him not baring his teeth, but still very angry, which I like, because Angry Hulk. And the last one is with the Gladiator helmet. Now, if you decide to display this, it would be smart to remove the Gladiator helmet back here. However, it would leave a big keyhole. Here's a picture of that. So I'm not sure what the thought process was that with Queen Studios but definitely an opportunity. Now, one nice thing about these portraits is they do offer additional portrait displays. Again, this is only the premium edition, not the regular. We'll talk more about that in value. Now, as I said, there were some issues, but it wasn't actually with the statue. It was with the packaging. So I briefly talked about it, but they decided, hey, this is gonna be two boxes, which is smart, but, but they put those two boxes in one shipper, making it over 130 pounds, and essentially destroying a lot of the packaging. This piece alone, with just the Hulk on it and the base, is incredibly heavy. I would guess 60, 70 pounds. Huge mistake. Because of that, it actually destroyed some of the packaging. So because of that, when Todd and I give this away, we're gonna have to do a little bit of custom packaging. You're still gonna get the original foam, the original art box, but that shipper is pretty much destroyed, and we're gonna ship it in two different boxes. We'll talk more about that in the live video. And if you're the winner of this statue and that bothers you, go f yourself and then f your mother. And maybe you'll get a participation ribbon. So I think they should have made Hulk a separate piece for shipping purposes. I think they should have shipped them in different boxes. Now, luckily, none of this was damaged. However, if I repacked this exactly as it came and shipped it out, I guarantee something would have been damaged. So for design, I go ahead and I give this a three out of five at best. It's hard for me to give it a more negative score even though I want to because technically nothing was broken when it arrived and everything fits really well. On a side note, one thing I didn't talk about is where a lot of this stuff falls in, it's actually like this black felt below it. Here's a picture right here. So I think that was smart, but they still pissed me off with how heavy this piece is and how the packaging was. Let's look at the paint sculpt. You know, Queen Studios, I've owned a number of pieces, both life-size bus, quarter scale, and I think they do a really good job. They did a great job on this one. Take a look. Now for the most part, these extra portraits have a lot of the stuff we're gonna look at on this main portrait. So we're gonna ignore those for now, but I'll start at the base here. I really like this rock-like base. They added a nice substrate of texture to it, not only with the sculpt, you can see some micro detail in there and some texture that really gives it kind of an oomph but also the different shadings of yellow and brown and gray and black. Most of the weapons look great. Not only the metal parts of the weapon, like this big mace with the spikes, there's a little bit of blood that's actually stained onto the base, but the wear in this gold shield that's cracked in half, you can see it right here, almost like dried blood stains on top of the different copper colors. Look at the wood on the ax here. That looks great. Looks like real actually grained wood with the linear pattern going down. And then you're gonna see some wrapping, some leather wrapping on a bunch of the weapons. And it looks really good. It looks like real leather. I think that's cool, but it still has kind of that wear effect. Now, all of this is painted polystone or resin. It's not actual metal, but it still looks like metal. Look at all the different uh, you know, blood splatters and um, gashes in the sword here. And again, the hilt is over here. You see more of that wrapped leather. You see it over here on this giant ax. Really nice job. A lot of times when they do weapons that are metal and they don't make them metal, they don't do a great job trying to blend in the paint to really give it that real metallic feel. I think they did great here. It's not too shiny, not too dull. Some copper wire. And again, great, look, look at where it's broken off right here. That wood looks absolutely fantastic. The back of it, not that you'd look at it too much, but 
you have almost like some steel um, rebar coming through with um, the faded copper or uh, parts of it coming down. All these details are things they did not need. I think they could have done better on the feathers on the helmet here. I remember owning Sideshow's Gladiator Hulk and I think it looked better. Maybe individualize the strands a little bit more. Probably the weakest part of the statue. Let's look at Hulk here. First, the ana anatomy is fantastic. They didn't make him overly bulky, very human-like, whether it's his chest or his abs. They uh, added some vein veinage throughout, and it's a very subtle veinage. So the sculpt, it's more prominent, but the paint, they kind of blended it in. His cracked toenails, definitely, you know, they need a pedicurist on Sakaar. I've never had a pedicure of you guys. I love the cape that's all ripped up and flowing, the king cape. Looks really, really nice. Almost looks like fabric, but it's not. It's fully sculpted. They added a lot of black shadowing to it, which looks good as well. His leather outfit, the wrappings around his feet look really nice. I wouldn't say exceptional by any means, but they're very good. All right, I'll, let's remove very. I like the metallic shine they added to his armor right here on the left, and then you have some rust on the spikes. So again, it really share, shows that wear. Check out his cuticles and fingernails here. Great job on the Hulk. Let's look at the portrait. So first, I think the hair looks great, individual strands. Not really a question who this is. He has his crown on top. Yellow teeth, because they don't brush him there. You know, one thing I forgot to talk about in design, which is really smart, the different head portrait switch outs. I was showing Mrs. X because she helped me with this because it weighs so much. The necklace actually covers up the seam. Really genius. I should have talked more about that in um, design, but we can't go back in time. And they look great. They look uh, actually like uh, mixed media. They don't look like they're sculpted, but great job on the portrait. That's your classic Hulk. Kind of a mix between a movie and a comic version. But really nice paint and sculpt on this, for sure. Queen Queen rarely disappoints. Let's start with the sculpt. Really, really good in my opinion. I'm teetering between a four and a five. And I've always said, you know, if I'm on the fence between a four and a five, I'll probably go ahead and give it the lower score. So I will give it a four. It's not the best Hulk I've ever seen, but it's damn near the top. So maybe a five would be just five, but shit, this is a subjective scale. And again, if you don't like that, you can pretend I said five and feel better about yourself. Paint, I don't think is as good as the sculpt, but I do think it is a solid four. They did a really nice job with a lot of the tones we talked about. And again, the sculpt is better. I could have given it a five. I don't think I could have given the paint a five. I think that's more of a four. All right, value. So I don't know the original retail prices. I believe the regular edition, which only had one portrait, was around 1400 and the premium edition was around 1800 They made 500 of the regular and 300 of the premium, so much more rare for this piece right here. Nowadays, you know, Spec Fiction sells this for about 1950 so almost $2,000 all in. And again, that $1,800 retail, and I believe that's what it was, didn't include shipping or anything like that. So you're about $2,000 for this. There's 800 statues. Again, only 300 have the additional portrait displays. This is the reason I didn't get it. I don't think it's a good value. You're getting a quarter scale piece. Granted, it's huge. That's what she said. And it's Hulk, but there's tons of Hulk statues out there. My Gladiator Hulk from Sideshow was like $1,400. So very similar in price to the regular version here. I think I got that custom for much cheaper. And again, we'll talk about that in the comparison video. But I think the value at best is a three out of five. I tempted to be even go two out of five. The good news for everybody watching is the value for you is gonna be a 100 out of five because this is gonna be free for one of you. Now, before we talk about that, does this have the X factor? That's my final category. Is it amazing? Is it awesome? Yes, it is. I think this is great. You know, if you don't know the storyline of Green Scar, you may not like it as much. You'll, you'll be like, why did they put Hulk on the throne? They put everybody on thrones, but that this actually does have some comic basis. I actually have the omnibus of it right over there, both omnibuses. So I think this is a four out of five statue. It is really impressive, maybe not as impressive as I originally thought when I saw it, but still definitely above average. What do you think? Throw that down in the comments below. I love to interact with you guys. No, we're not giving away a statue from the Extreme channel today. We are giving away the statue from Spec Fiction. 
Okay. All you have to do is check the description of this video. There is a Gleam link. This is how Gleam works. First, you click on the link in the description. Then it'll bring you to the different social media aspects of both Spec Fiction and the Extreme Channel. The more you follow and or subscribe to, the more entries you get into the drawing, which we will do live. So make sure to check that out. But more importantly, this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching. Subbing to the channel is actually one of the Gleam entries. So you can do it now. Save yourself some time. I really appreciate you guys. Please continue watching. Please drop a like on this video. This is a big expense for the Spec Fiction shop. And I love Todd. And I'm going to be with him soon.